And to Ireland now, where it is starting a new no-deal preparation as uh, the Brexit trade talks falter. Joining us live from Ireland is Rowana Bianca Arino. Hello, Bianca. How are you? Hi, Alpha. Hi, Bianca. Good to see you back. What are your updates from Ireland? Ireland is setting up preparations for a no deal split for Britain at the end of the year as talks to broker a post Brexit trade agreement for Sunday. Irish Prime Minister Leo Bradford. Let's hear more about it. While the government is uh, prioritizing COVID, uh, we haven't forgotten about Brexit e either. And among the things we agreed to do was to continue to step up no deal planning. Uh, that's no trade deal planning uh, in case we get into that position uh, at the end of the year. Um, as we all know, Brexit hasn't gone away and uh, talks are intensifying at a European level with a view to an EU UK seminar next month uh, in June. So um, very little progress in reality being made on those talks. Standing. We really understand that as companies are getting up and running again, to remind them of the challenge of Brexit is a really big ask. And the Taoiseach, myself and Minister Humphreys will continue to work closely together to see what guidance and what support we can offer to help companies get ready for that challenge. <laughs> So according to Irish Times, negotiations between UK and EU on a trade deal show little signs of progress. For the Tanoshka, the Deputy Prime Minister and for the Minister of the Prime Minister of the Prime Company will brief the Cabinet on the state of the negotiations in Boston and tell ministers the need of preparations at ports and airports to be stepped up as Ireland emerges from the coronavirus lockdown. Mr. Connolly will also include the potential scenarios that could unfold the second half of the year. Either the two sides reach a great peace trade agreement that is doing zero child and zero or the zero peace agreement in which it is not a zero price of local consideration at the beginning of the month. If there is no deal Brexit, ministers will be told Irish agricultural experts to the UK could be hit with some one billion cash. The UK must decide at the end of June if it wishes to keep an extension to the present transition date, during which, although legally outside the EU, the UK applies the law and receives the benefits of the EU single market. However, the UK government has said it will not, under any circumstances, apply for an extension, meaning there are just seven months left to the comprehensive free trade agreement. Such a process normally takes several years. There has been little progress so far in the negotiations, which began in March, and Mr. Cogney is likely to offer a gloomy prognosis to ministers when they meet today. Of the four negotiating rounds scheduled to take place before the end of June, three have been completed, but they have achieved little agreement on anything of substance. The next round starts next week. Ministers will also be asked to approve the drafting of new Brexit legislation to prepare for no deal, though it is unlikely to be presented to the doll before the autumn. Also more light news, opera singer Edgar Smuts Vidas took the streets of South London on Thursday evening to add a new spin to the weekly clapper here to that. This to recognize the frontliners of the state run out service. Let's hear from the singer himself.
also I miss my audience. I miss singing. You know, I've been sort of not singing since March, really, and you know when they started to cancel performances. And and uh, I knew Jason, and he invited me. He said, you know, would you like to sort of do that? I said, absolutely, yes. Um, so we sort of with one stone, and we we kill. You know, I kill two birds because I have an opportunity to perform for the audience, and we also uh, um, sort of getting some money for 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 good purpose for NHS. Oh, it's lovely. No, it's gorgeous. I, th I think that people also um, missing, you know, live music and all these broadcasts and streaming online will never really replace um, live live performance and then they can see you know opera singer walking down the street and then singing with a bike um, I think it's exciting and it was exciting for me of course it was the first time I've done this um, and fight to help raise money for the charity which provides food and provisions provision for care workers. Back to you, Amma. Right. Thank you very much, Bianca, for uh, your report. Thank you so much. We enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you, Amma. Thank you for making your comments from the public island. And we live 